Good evening. It's time for a story. Let's see what tonight's story is. Oh, I see. This is the story of the raven. Yes. Okay, this is how the story goes. This is in the future, and there is an old man sleeping in a shack and he is surrounded by broken dreams. He's been miserable all his life. He's accused people of things, he's hated people, he's hunted them down, he's basically lived a life of anger and disappointment. One night the old man is lying in his bed. He's falling asleep. And then, just as he is drifting off to sleep, he hears a tapping at the window. Slight as it is, it's still unusual. He sits in bed, semi-frightened, not sure. And the noise was louder. He shot out of bed and grabbed his shotgun and pulled the curtains back on the small window and he could see nothing. There was nothing there. He sat on the bed with his oil lamp burning and just sat there listening. He couldn't hear anything. And then on the front of his door he heard slight tapping. He just froze in fear for a moment. He wanted this all to go away. The noise was louder. He rushed to the front door. He pulled his shotgun out, opened the door, and there, on the bottom of the step, was a black raven looking at him. Well, without hesitation, he grabbed his shotgun and fired. And yet the raven did not move. The raven flew inside the small shack and jumped up on the table. The old man was in total fear. He sat down on the couch and laid the shotgun next to him. He looked at the raven and it seemed like the raven was about to talk. He thought he was crazy. So he leaned forward and said to the raven, Who are you? And the raven turned his head slightly and he said, Sir, I am death. The old man sat back into the couch and said, What do you mean? And the raven said, I am here for a task. I am here for your death. And the old man shook his head and said, Am I dreaming? Is this something? Am I crazy? And the raven said, No, not at all. And the old man said, when am I going to die? And the raven said, You're already dead. Look back into the room on the bed. Your body lies there. The old man half staggered up from the couch and leaned and looked down the passageway. And he could see himself motionless on the bed. And he said to the raven, if I'm dead, what happens now? And the raven said, Each man on this earth gets what they deserve for what they've done in their lives. The old man said, Well, I, 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 I've been okay and I've I, I sort of lived a fairly good life. And the raven said, That is not true. Your whole life you've despised people. You've made fools of them. And you have basically said to everybody that they're wrong and you're right. And you have done some terrible things. For your punishment for eternity is to be given the things that you have given others. And also, you live your life in eternity 
with the things you deserve. The old man said, I, I don't understand. Is this hell or, or what is this, what are you talking about? The raven looked at him and said, You are going to receive what you deserve. I'm going to wave my wings and you will be where you need to be. The old man said, said, no, no, can I have a second chance? And the raven said, no, and flapped his wings. With that, the old man drifted off and into darkness. And then he slowly awoke. It was sort of a, a dimish light, and he could sort of see something, but he rubbed his eyes, and he got up, and... And then he realized he was in a room full of mirrors from the top to the bottom on each side in a very small room. It was just all mirrors. What was his punishment? Well, the thing he hated and loathed most in his life was himself. So for eternity, that is his punishment. Good night. See you next time. Watch out for ravens. <laughs>